Lesson number three, technical analysis indicators. You probably saw some on my chart. I use mostly price action. What I do use indicators for are just letting me kind of know where we're most likely going to be heading in the market. And then I'll look for price action to give me a setup in that direction. The indicators are telling me it's going to most likely go. I don't use the indicators itself as a signal to get in a trade. It's simply just getting a bias of where market flow is going. So I don't get lost on different because my setup could happen either way. But I want to take the setup that forms in the most likely price is going to go. So we have moving averages. This is basically a trend following indicator that smooths out price data by creating a constantly updated average price. Now, we do have a free one that we give out to you. I'll show you on the chart real quick. If I zoom out on the 15 minute chart, there we go. So this one has, uh, this is a moving average. This is a free one that we give. So it's pulling the moving average from the four hour chart and putting it on the lower time frames. So that way I know the flow of the higher time frames. Uh, all this stuff, it looks confusing and it probably is if you don't know what it's doing, but I don't look at the chart like this. When I'm using these, I'm zoomed way in and I'm usually on the one minute. And now you can see, I know it's up here. We're going for a sell. It's below the VWAP and the 0.5 iteration of it. So most likely we're looking for sales. Now it has been kind of sitting around. So that's just kind of like a warning for me. Maybe we do cross up and go, but all these fair value gaps are showing setups for selling. And that's how I use indicators. And then I'll look for an actual setup. So for example, remember how I was saying my setups form each way, but I want to make sure I take a trade in the way price is actually moving. Well, guess what? That's a setup. Price came down. It would have stopped me out. I would have had a stop loss right around here. If I was had a big stop loss, I'd be down here, but most likely it'd be underneath this. I would have got stopped out. Why would I take a buy when everything is showing me to take a sell, right? That's just how I use indicators. So let's get back before we get too complex. I'm 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 getting ahead of myself, but I just kind of want to show you because you saw those on my charts from the candlesticks. So we have the relative strength index. That is the RSI. I will add that in on my chart now so you can see it. RSI, relative strength index. So this oversold, overbought, overbought. Basically, that's just what it's doing. It's just letting you know the value of the market. And usually when it's at the bottom, it's oversold. So it's time to start going up. And when it's at the top, it's usually overbought and it's time to start going down. But you could see here it's dropping. But price is kind of, we had that higher high right there and we're almost up there. And the higher high did not make a higher high. So it doesn't always exactly mean that there's, there's strategies to use. I'm not going to teach about the RSI here, but it is something you can use. We have the stochastics oscillator that is also a momentum indicator. Uh, it's very similar setup to the, the relative strength index. So I'm not going to show you, but basically it's doing the same thing. There's many indicators that show the same thing different ways. And then we have the Bollinger Bands, which is kind of like the, the volume, the, the VWAP that I'm using. It looks similar to this, except price is usually inside it and it, it uh it just kind of helps you understand if it's at the bottom usually it starts going up price wants to stick towards the middle the median and it's the rubber bands the bollinger bands are technically that's what they're kind of hinting at is they're like rubber bands pushing price back and forth and trying to keep it get it back to the median price um so if that's something you want to put in your strategy check it out fibonacci, fibonacci retracement we use this a lot. We'll dive into this later on in the course and in the advanced trader course a lot more. But basically, you can mark up the move, figure out 50% of that move and whatnot. And you could also have some projections. This is the retracement part. That is the extension part. But you could put them all into one tool. We'll cover that in the advanced trader course. We'll dive into my exact strategy, break it down 
and give you something to actually trade with. Uh, the Ichimoku cloud is another trend following type indicator. I'll add it to my chart. It is a little confusing because uh, there's going to be a lot of a lot of lines on here. Uh, let me turn off my view up. That'll uh, my wee wop the my wee wop put off the. Uh... All right, so you can see the cloud when people use it. I don't think they normally use all of them. I think they use the base and conversion, if I remember correctly. So basically, turns red, prices below it, selling green uh, i don't know I, I i honestly don't know the strategy behind this but um it's something that i see a lot of people use and they make it work but for me that is uh that's not what i am looking to use um i like this simple setup it keeps the charts clean and then i could oh, can't believe i have the drawing on still then i could come back into this chart and really zoom in and then compare it to the 15 minute and the one hour and then start getting my bias so I could place my trades. And then if I just needed a bigger screen, I'll come out to here. So that is the technical analysis indicators. There are so many you could research and find which ones you like, then speak to you and kind of help you understand. I've been through a lot of them, but having a simple moving average and the VWAP seems to really work and just give me a good bias of where price is going. And then I'll use my normal price action setups to get in and out of trades and all that stuff. If you want to use our, our EMA we made, it is free. Um, we could link it to you in this course. You'll see under the free indicators, you could add that to your charts. Or um, there's ones you could add in from that are free within Trading View. They just don't change colors like ours. So we have a crossover happening in the background that'll change colors. But not to confuse you, you could paste the code in and add it to yours or find a free one. And it all does the same thing. It matters what you're comfortable with and what you like to see on your charts.